Okay, this machine has got a vacuum pump on it. And you could probably just hear the vacuum in the background because it's down in the basement. The vacuum pulls all the air out of the clay, all of the air bubbles. This turns the machine on. is a double auger and it's self-feeding. So when you start it off after it's been setting, you gotta run it a little while to be sure the clay is in good shape. It's a porcelain body. I'm gonna feed the press. To feed the press it's got to be absolutely prime quality. You don't want any air it's got to be homogeneous. So I'm going to run some chunks. Back through. That's my handy dandy cheese cutter. And I just wire this up into lumps big enough that it'll self feed. This machine runs a little fast. You don't want to draw any air from the back end, so you've got to keep it full of clay. Lots of pug mills, which is what this is called. You've got to force the clay in, but this feeds itself. Big chunk, drop it right in. So I'm just going to run this through once more, and you can sort of see some lumps in it. All of these wires are deep sea fishing leader stranded stainless steel. Last and last. Once you've fed the clay through here a few times, then you can just use the clay as it comes out. So this is just preliminary. Let me show you that it's been sitting here for about a week. You can sort of see the spirals in the end of it. The spirals an indication of how homogeneous the clay is. And I've got a gauge stick here. Five inch diameter or so. Gives me a pre weighed amount of clay. So, twenty two pounds.